Greetings and welcome to everyone. Before going to word of God, let's pray. God, source of living water and uh, giver of life, creator of living things and uh, non-living things, we are coming to your throne of grace. God Almighty, we are praying for your church, government, national and state governments but also we are praying for world health organization and health caretakers god almighty we are praying for our relatives and friends bless each one of us let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable to you O lord my rock and my redeemer. Amen. I have selected for today's sermon topic is an invitation to receive living water. Today's topic is says about uh, the living water. God is the source of living water and he is inviting to receive living water from him. So, God is always inviting us. God is helping us to receive life-giving water. We know always what is invitations. People are inviting for birthday programs, wedding programs and different other programs. We are not wishing to attend a programs without an invitations. It is a, an invitation between human beings. But here, we vividly understanding that God is always inviting to everyone to drink from him. God is inviting the thirsty people to come and buy from him. This season is, we know, we are living in a season of the uh, summer season. People is always... Uh, thirsty they are taking water that means if we have thirsty we will drink water more so god is also uh, asking to uh, go near to him to take uh, water those who are thirsty he is inviting us jesus christ in his public ministry he said he is the living water the prophet joel says i will pour out my spirit to on all flesh and also jesus promised the spirit of god holy spirit to be with us uh, to be with the disciples the god is also the psalmist also explains that god is a the stream for the living water he has abundant much water, living water, and he is inviting everyone to visit to him. And when we study about uh, Jesus' ministry, um, Jesus was teaching people in understandable, understanding languages. And everyone needed to understand how that uh, people can easily understand uh, the uh, about the uh, kingdom of god in jesus ministry jesus was teaching and jesus was uh, communicating with the samaritan women the begins the communication begins with the, the water in the well then after after communication is growing the later communication is ending with the 
the spiritual water the which uh, which is eternal uh, life jesus christ said to her and uh, those who are drinking the water from the wells they will be thirsty again and again and uh, what uh, living water i will give you that will lead to the eternal life that uh, people will not thirsty people uh, spiritually they will not uh, thirsty that jesus is saying that and also jesus uh, in a uh, in the seventh chapter in john gospel according to john uh, chapter 7 in which uh, jesus in a the last day of the festival jesus standing and cried out and said those who are thirsty come to me and uh, those who are believing in me and out of their heart the rivers of the uh, living water will flow from the believer's heart that uh, and he is a source of living water and those who are and also jesus said here uh, the anyone test uh, belongs to any continent people belongs to any place any languages any geographical area jesus is inviting anyone who tasty come to me anyone can come but they should have tasty and they should come and drink living water to get eternal life that's what here <coughs> saying when we study about the prophet isaiah chapter 55 the they are also god is saying god is inviting people those who are thirsty come to me and uh, those who are thirsty they should come to me and uh, without the money you can buy and uh, eat drink and eat and uh, those who are thirsty come to me and uh, by that's what uh, god is <laughs> inviting that uh, gospel the psalm number 107 there also we see that uh, drink and uh, for uh, inviting to drink and eat there is a food and life comes from god <laughs> here there we can understand the prophet jeremiah also explains about the the god as the foundation of living water and uh, some people receiving and some people are rejecting it and those who receive they will get the spiritual life god is abundantly giving the spiritual life that is what that here you are also saying that uh, those who, everyone come to me everyone those who thirsty come to me that also as uh, jesus christ said anyone who can come to me here in a prophetia chapter 55 says everyone everyone means god is inviting everyone the whole whole world in every any context a continent in any context in any geographical area in any people everyone who thirsty come to me and drink living water god is always are inviting us to his stream of living water god god is a stream of living water and he is inviting everyone that if he has not little water he is inviting everyone crores of people millions of people anyone that he can that, that there is sufficient water there is sufficient living water they will get uh, and uh, life that is what say that uh, last when we when we study about the psalm number 42 there also that is also the part of today's subject there uh, we can see it is written by uh, son of korak uh, this is what say and different opinions are going on and uh, somebody is saying that uh, this psalm is um, uh, written by uh, son of korak somebody says about uh, david somebody says it is uh, uh, this written by, by someone and uh, uh, given to them for correction of submitting to them for the correction of uh, souls and uh, somebody else uh, uh, say different opinions But anyway uh, when we study about the uh, son of korak 
and uh, they were now wandering in the area of Jorda because uh, the time of King Solomon, Solomon Absalom, Absalom, uh, they were they uh, that uh, uh, it, it, uh, destroyed, removed the their throne. There, there was some problems, and uh, because of that, uh, that uh, they uh, removed the position of uh, David and uh, King David and uh, his, uh, sons of Korah. Now, Korah were singing. The David was appointed them before to sing for song on God, but now they were their position were removed. Now they are wandering the place of Jordan and some other places. Now they are in exile. They have no worshipping place. They are they do not have you know, that uh, beautiful place to worship with the uh, people of God. In that uh, context, uh, people are living. In the in that context, King David or uh, son of Korah, they are you know, that. Uh, Praying to God in Psalm number 42, verse 1, that uh, how dear, dear, dear pants for the streams of water. I pants for, I desire for God. That means uh, how animals are going to drink water, how when animals are getting um, thirsty, they are going to streams or uh, to quench their thirst how I am also thirsty for God that is what they are saying that uh, different places we know that uh, uh, the children are in school they are using the story of the crow a thirsty crow they are uh, how the crow is making effort to drink water we know the story of the uh, that uh, horn bills, which are we know different kinds of varieties of horn bills, uh, which are found in Africa and Asian continents. They are waiting for the rain, the thirsty time to uh, quench their thirst. They are waiting for eagerly waiting for uh, rain. <coughs> That's what here is saying. Then shortly, when we um, conclude this. Uh, portions we know the god is god has a stream of living water god just otherwise we can say oh, that is ocean of living water and uh, he god is inviting everyone or anyone to receive and drink the living water or god is inviting to uh, come to God Almighty, to come buy and drink or eat from God, to get uh, spiritual life, to quench our spiritual thirst. This what <coughs> here say. There is no dist uh, there is no uh, problems. The God is inviting everyone or anyone. We cannot purchase. Uh, living water with our money. This worldly money has no value for God. That uh, we can purchase the money, uh, many things with money, but we cannot purchase with uh, you know, living water with our money. So we have to, uh, you know, with our you know, spiritual life, we have to, by faith, we have to receive the spiritual water. God bless us through these you know, words. Before closing the words, now word of God, we can word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this uh, wonderful time which you have uh, given to us. God, enable us to worship you in spirit and truth. You come into our life. You are the streams of living water. We are coming to you, God. You give us your living water. We are coming to you with our faith and enable us to flow rivers of 
living water from our heart you give your spiritual life you quench our spiritual test god almighty like a psalmist and some other people in exile how they quench for spiritual test we are also living in a particular context we are unable to worship together in church in particular context god you help us we are coming to you open the way to worship you her enable us to quench our spiritual thirst enable the your people enable your people to quench their spiritual thirst and uh, we will be able to drink and eat from stream of living water God Almighty bless each one of us. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the sweet communion of Holy Spirit be with us all.